Well, hello, this is Zach Sioda from the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, also the host of the Skilled Trade Up and the producer of the HVAC Overtime Show. Oh, I'm busy. Very busy guy. But I wanted to talk about heat pump accumulators. We had a question the other day on the Skilled Trade Up, which is a game show about accumulators. So I want to briefly talk about them. And in heat pumps, typically what happens, what you have is you have suction gas. It's leaving the outdoor coil, which is the evaporator. It's superheated, theoretically, suction gas. It goes to the reversing valve, goes to the accumulator, and then goes to the compressor. The reason why there's an accumulator is because you don't want very cold conditions to cause that gas to become desuperheated and almost condense or become subcooled or whatever. You don't want liquid going back to the compressor because it's going to cause an issue and ruin your compressor. So you have a suction accumulator. I'll try to put one up on the screen here. And basically the tubing configuration inside allows a sampling of suction gas to go back to the compressor. And there's an orifice at the bottom of the tubing so that oil can go back to the compressor because you can't have oil trapped in there either. You got to think about that as well. So it allows oil to get back to the compressor and allows liquid not to get back as far as liquid refrigerant. So that way you save your compressor no matter what your ambient conditions are. It's a fail safe and not a bad idea to have one. So that's what a suction accumulator does. That's when you would use it, especially in heating mode and low ambient conditions. And I hope that clears a little bit of stuff up for you guys. And we'll talk more about that sort of thing in the future.